Part of why we're here is to meet the top leaders and say, look, we're open for business, and more importantly, we're open for true partnership. How do we bring the biggest events from the PFL pay-per-view division here to Qatar? And more to come. The PFL is fighter first. In other words, fighters control their own destiny in the PFL because there's a regular season playoff and championship. If you win, you advance. You lose, you go home. In the UFC or in other places, the promoter decides the matchups. So the fighters are not in control in the UFC. Why Francis Nagano or Jake Paul or other top fighters come to the PFL? What they do decides the outcome and who becomes the champion. That's the big difference with the PFL. We launched the PFL Europe League this year. The top European fighters, all fighting in Europe, all broadcast prime time in Europe. We're gonna do the same in the Mideast, which we'll announce for next year. Over time, we'll have the Champions League of MMA. So think of it as we launched last week, PFL Africa, which Francis will be chairman of. It'll be the top African fighters, all fighting in Africa, prime time in Africa. We'll have six of these international regional leagues by the end of 2026. So the first ever true global league in MMA will be with PFL. Normally, it's always about the money. We're paying Francis the same money per fight that the UFC offered him. For Francis, it was about everything else. He wanted control and empowerment, and he wanted to show other top MMA fighters there was an option out there. The UFC, good company. If you wanted to be there, you could be there. But PFL, an up and coming great company where you could be in control. So if you wanted to box, he can also box. He's only exclusive in MMA to PFL. We're talking about the heavyweight champion of the world, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And more than that, a tremendous human being and a global figure. Came to the PFL, chose the PFL. This will be the first of many. So I think what you're seeing is PFL today is the number two MMA league by every measure, viewership, top 25 fighters, paid distribution globally, but that's just today. I think over the next three to five years, I think we're on our path to be the co-leader in MMA. Our focus is to bring the biggest, most spectacular MMA pay-per-view fights to the Mideast. Jake Paul and Francis are two headliners set up for 2024. I can't think of two more fights I'd rather see in MMA in 2024. Those are the two pay-per-view fights set up from PFL in 2024. Where will we host them? Where will they be? That's what we're exploring now in the Mideast. In the PFL, only 72 fighters, 12 in each of six weight classes. So when you turn into a PFL fight every Friday night, you know who most of those people are. You see them throughout that season. So one, they're from 30 countries. Two, they're top 50 ranked. And three, if they don't win this year, half that roster turns over and becomes new great fighters next year. Part of why we're here is to meet the top leaders and say, look, we're open for business. And more importantly, we're open for true partnership. How do we bring the biggest events from the PFL pay-per-view division here to Qatar? And more to come.